you're enjoying your day so far. Glad you can make us a part of it this afternoon across the prairies. Not too bad. It makes the sun and cloud really for the most part. 24 in Saskatoon as well as into Edmonton. Still hot into the BC interior and unfortunately no rainfall in the next 7, 10 days or so to those areas that are dealing with wildfires and those coastal sections as well. So I want to show you what's happening. Essentially, you just saw that low over uh, just areas into northern parts of Manitoba. Uh, we could see some thunderstorms popping up there as well as some heavy rainfall, but this high pressure uh, further to the south going to really add to those winds from the south. So we're going to really feel the temperatures 32 degrees in Medicine Hat by Wednesday going to help bring in all that warmer air from south of the border 29 in Kindersley. So the western prairies are going to feel the heat first. We do have heat advisories in place, uh, so we'll really feel that throughout Wednesday 30 degrees in Calgary and 32 in Lethbridge. Thursday, it keeps on going 35 degrees in Lethbridge as well as into Medicine Hat 30 in Estevan. So, of course, if you are in any of those areas, you're definitely going to want to take the necessary precautions. We do have some uh, severe thunderstorm risks uh, throughout the late afternoon into your evening hours. We have already seen some thunderstorms popping up. Really a line of thunderstorms toward northwestern Ontario. Areas like Kenora got into that. However, there is a high cap in place. So by the time it reached really even the Dryden area, it kind of fizzled out. So something we will continue to watch. That front does slide through. So isolated severe is a risk. Large hail, damaging winds and heavy rainfall. The bulk of the energy is stateside into northern Minnesota. 24 degrees in Windsor, 21 in Toronto. A nice day for the most part across Ontario. 23 in Timmins, 22 in Thunder Bay, 19 in Kingston. Those people, though, in eastern Ontario, Kingston, Gananaque, even Ottawa, unfortunately, could be uh, clearing out their basements due to that flooding. We had a whole lot of rainfall yesterday. 26 degrees, though, jumping ahead into your Thursday. So that rainfall will make its way into southern Ontario. It's starting in northwestern Ontario now. It will sink further to the south. So areas like Timmins, Sault Ste. Marie, North Bay, even toward Cottage Country, you'll get into that throughout your Wednesday afternoon. And then Thursday, it will reach southern Ontario, really southern Quebec, all the way down the 401 corridor toward Windsor. 26 degrees for your Saturday, though. A mix of sun and cloud, too. Going to be a pretty nice weekend. We'll touch on Atlantic Canada in a second, but first, here's Nathan Coleman. All right, awesome stuff. Thank you, Nathan, for that. You can also head to our website at theweathernetwork.com. Our meteorologist, Scott Sutherland, has wrote up an article. So head there, theweathernetwork.com, for some more details as well. We had a really chilly day, as you can tell there with Nathan, throughout Halifax, much of the southern Maritimes, Nova Scotia, into portions of uh, Cape Breton. But throughout tomorrow, we're really going to see much better conditions. So today was pretty cool. Uh, however, come tomorrow, that temperature in Halifax bumping back up to about 24 degrees. That rainfall, though, will spread into those in Newfoundland, the Avalon already getting into that now. All right, stay with us. Here's a look at your local forecast. Well, we have seen some thunderstorms popping up toward northwestern Ontario, areas like Kenora. This is a look at our storm energy. So you can see those areas throughout northwestern Ontario getting into that uh, energy that lingers throughout this evening and into your overnight as well. The bulk of it, though, is stateside into Minnesota. However, we do have the risk to see some more severe weather. Essentially, we've been seeing a line of thunderstorms popping up toward the Kenora area, but it has had a big cap in place. So they have uh, essentially been fizzing out a little bit, but there is that risk that does continue into the evening hours. So if you're in one of these locations, definitely something to keep in mind toward Fort Hope as well into those northern sections, even Geraldton. And then as we approach uh, the overnight hours into your Wednesday, this front is going to continue to sink further to the south. So bringing some rainfall to areas like Sault Ste. Marie and Timmins throughout your Wednesday late afternoon. Finally, toward North Bay and Cottage Country, it will be throughout the dinner hour or so. And then sinking further south toward even southern Quebec and much of southern Ontario throughout your overnight and into your Thursday morning lingering throughout Thursday and as it approaches southern Ontario also we've got that risk for a thunderstorm. This is a jump ahead though some better news. This is the weekend. We actually have what could be the first rain free weekend in, in Ontario at least southern Ontario uh, all summer. So take advantage of this. The temperature is nice and comfortable 26 in London as well as into Toronto 25 in Ottawa. As we had a little, little bit further east it hasn't been the greatest day across the Maritimes or Newfoundland and Labrador. Pretty cool temperatures and a pretty raw wind. This evening, clearing out conditions for those in Nova Scotia. It spreads further to the east into the Avalon. We'll see those showers lingering this evening. But we do have a little bit of a tricky forecast as we head into the weekend. Here's Kelly with some more details. All right, great. Thanks, Kelly, for the uh, description there. Across the prairies, essentially a behind that front, now we're seeing a strong northwest wind. So areas throughout Saskatchewan as well as into Manitoba. We'll break down more details throughout the hour. But here's a look at your local forecast. 
Fight at Long Range forecast is just about a minute away or so. As you take a look across the country, you're watching for some active weather across portions of northwestern Ontario, as well as some strong wind gusts essentially behind that front toward uh, north, uh, areas into northern Saskatchewan, as well as into Manitoba. You can tell into the BC interior, not much is happening, unfortunately. We're still dry there and still rather warm. As we take a look at Ontario, essentially, uh, where we're seeing that active weather now, that front will slide further to the south throughout uh, your Wednesday, bringing some showers to Sault Ste. Marie as well as areas like Timmins. And then finally, by the time it reaches southern Ontario, we'll be overnight on, into your Thursday as well into southern Quebec. So essentially southern Quebec right through the 401, uh, right down to Windsor. We're going to see that risk for a thunderstorm as well as some showers on and off. Temperatures Wednesday, they certainly have returned into the western prairies. We've actually got heat advisories in place for some of those areas, especially into the southeastern corner of Alberta. 30 degrees in Calgary for your Wednesday, 33 in Kelowna, 25 in Prince George and 27 in Saskatoon. As we jump to Thursday, 32 degrees in Calgary. Here's a look at your long range forecast. Glad you could tune in. Hope you're enjoying your Tuesday so far. Shannon Bradbury here with you at the Weather Network. Let's take a look at our developing stories. All right, we do have severe thunderstorms happening across northwestern Ontario. Isolated severe there, driving toward the north as well. Large hail as well as damaging winds are those main concerns. Actually damaging hail too. Large-sized hail uh, really can hurt. It can damage property as well. Uh, right along the border there is where we could see some severe weather happening too. Heavy rainfall, definitely not out of the question. It's really due to that front moving through uh, just along that boundary. It will sink further to the south uh, in the next several hours, bringing some rainfall throughout your morning to Sault Ste. Marie toward Timmins. So Chapelo and Wawa into Quebec as well. Finally sinks further south. This is stopped at 8 p.m. on Wednesday. So North Bay toward Cottage Country, uh, Halliburton Highlands even seeing some rainfall into portions of Quebec. And then finally it will bring, uh, really will sink further to the south into areas into southern Quebec and will, or rather into southern Ontario and we'll see that rainfall throughout uh, your really much of your Thursday and that risk for a thunderstorm. 26 degrees in Toronto for Wednesday though, a nice day. That rainfall further north, 22 in Sault Ste. Marie and 21 in Sudbury. That's for your Wednesday. Uh, as we head into uh, your Thursday, so you can see here on the icons, 26 degrees in Toronto, those areas seeing uh, that rainfall and that risk for a thunderstorm along that boundary. So southern Quebec right through uh, that 401 corridor, but further to the north we get into some clearing for your Thursday, 24 in Sudbury and a mix of sun and cloud. Meanwhile, across the west, we're really lacking in the rainfall. Some of these areas into southern Saskatchewan and southern Alberta are really wanting the rainfall, of course, into the BC interior especially, and we're really lacking it. 28 degrees uh, in Regina on Wednesday, 30 in Calgary, and 32 in Lethbridge as well as in Medicine Hat by Thursday. The temperatures keep going 35 degrees in Lethbridge and Medicine Hat. We do have heat advisories in place for some starting Wednesday and likely to increase throughout the week as those temperatures really are hot. No measurable precip for uh, the interior as well as the south coast unfortunately. Here's your local forecast. I well, hope you're enjoying your day so far. Glad you could make us a part of it. We are expecting some really gusty winds across portions of Saskatchewan as well as in Manitoba. Essentially right behind that front as it passed, we're seeing those winds from the northwest. So they could gust upwards of 80 kilometers per hour. Also, as the low is centered really north of the Inner Lakes, we could see uh, some thunderstorms popping up there. Also into northwestern Ontario, which we will talk about throughout uh, your Wednesday. Those winds will die down. However, this high south of the border really is high helping with those strong wind gusts and we're seeing that southerly flow. The heat is returning for some areas across the prairies come Wednesday. Meanwhile, it's still dry across uh, the BC interior. Also, the south coast is staying dry. We've got an upper low further to the north, so a little bit, a uh, few showers further there. The wildfire areas, unfortunately, are still dry. Here's Chrissy Van with an update. All right, thank you, Chrissy, for that update. We are watching for some active weather across northwestern Ontario. Last night, it brought uh, some severe weather to southern portions of Manitoba. Uh, we saw a tennis ball sized hail reported in the Medora area. As that front slides further to the uh, east, we're seeing areas into northwestern Ontario dried in, even Fort Hope throughout uh, the evening hours. Then, as uh, the overnight progresses, that energy does diminish, but the bulk of it will be stateside. The main concerns here will be some strong wind gusts as well as large sized hail. As that front slides further south, we're seeing some rainfall towards Sault Ste. Marie and Timmins into portions of Quebec as well. So this is Wednesday around 1 p.m. or so, uh, and then it's just getting 
into North Bay as well as into cottage country by the dinner hour. That really fills in as it sinks further south, covering portions of Quebec as well. A few scattered showers into southern Quebec will get a little bit more in terms of that rain right down the 401 corridor. Also that risk for a thunderstorm. So this is Thursday morning. So for those southern Ontario, your Wednesday is going to be a nice day. Uh, overnight we'll really start to see that ramp up and throughout your Thursday morning. So Saturday, 26 degrees. We're jumping ahead to Saturday because this could be the first rain-free weekend for Ontario, at least southern Ontario, and even southern Quebec uh, all summer. So take advantage of this amidst the greatest conditions, but we're going to see those improving. The rainfall has spread further to the east, so areas into the Avalon are getting into that this evening. That'll ease throughout your Wednesday, and the temperatures aren't going to be as cool as they were today. We're seeing much more comfortable temperatures into the mid-20s. Well, it's an absolutely gorgeous day across southern Ontario, not so much toward northwestern Ontario. Rolls are going to reverse come Thursday, especially. So essentially, we're seeing some thunderstorms popping out there, areas further to the northwest. That front will sink further south. So areas into Sault Ste. Marie, toward Timmins, even toward Cottage Country, you'll see that throughout your late uh, Wednesday, especially toward Cottage Country, and then into southern Ontario overnight into your Thursday, as well as into southern Quebec. Also, we've got that risk for a thunderstorm. Meanwhile, further to the west, it is hot. Come Wednesday, we've got alerts in place, 32 degrees in Lethbridge, still warm into the BC interior, 33 in Kelowna, 32 in Medicine Hat. The uh, western prairies are going to see the heat first, but it does build throughout late week, 35 degrees in Medicine Hat. That is hot. And speaking of the heat, here's Amanda. Wow, thank you, Amanda, for that. Some heat safety tips. So keep your house uh, ventilated or cooled. Never leave children or pets in the car. Of course, stay out of the sun if possible, minimal exercise too, and think of those more susceptible.